Hello Scorpio, hello, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I feel truly grateful to have each and every one of you here. Thank you for coming, Scorpio. With that being said, if you are looking for a personal reading, um, check out my Etsy store. I have a bunch of stuff for purchase in my Etsy store. Go check me out, Scorpio. With that being said, let's go ahead and bless the cards and get into this reading. Um, I'm hopefully going to be getting back into the daily Scorpio readings um, starting today, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I think I've been able to work out a pretty good schedule to where I can start pumping out the Scorpio reading every day again. Um, so that's exciting. But, um, yeah, Spirit has been asking me to do this Scorpio reading for a couple days. And then last night, while I was sleeping, um, I had a dream about the reading. And so when I woke up, I was just like, okay, you know, I know what it is I need to do. We need to get this Scorpio reading done because Spirit's been asking me for a while, for, for like three or four days now, to do a November Scorpio reading. And I know we're still in October. October, but Spirit was very adamant that I do a November Scorpio reading for whatever reason, okay? So that's what I'm doing today, a November Scorpio reading. Um, we're going to go over the energies of November to find out what's going on with you and your person or what's going on within your love life if you don't have a person, all right? If you haven't already, please do like the video and comment below. It does help me with YouTube rankings. Angels, ancestors, guides, universal light, the seven Hathors, and Aphrodite. Angels and beings of light, I ask you to come to this home to clear it out of all negativity, to fill my home with light, to fill my body, my vessel with light. I would like messages for the zodiac sign of Scorpio rooted in love. Messages of the highest light rooted in love for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, please. Ascending is at the bottom of the deck here, Scorpio. So I do feel like you're elevating. I do feel like you're rising above. Um, you know, as I see ascending, Spirit was showing me the rising phoenix. And there's this message coming through of really coming into, like, your blessings and really coming into happier times. And there's a message coming through of things just being really good for you right now, right? Just life being immensely good to you right now. You know, I feel like you have a lot of blessings coming in, a lot of opportunities coming in. And 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 spirit is showing me a shift in energy within you, within your life, within your experience. There's a shift taking place. Fresh start. Oh, there's ascending again. So I'm going to go ahead and take that because I feel like they're not done with that card. Can I have another card here for Scorpio, please? So we've got ascending and fresh start. So again, with the ascending card, Scorpio, I feel like you're coming out of really um, dark times, right? Because if you look at this photo, it's a boat that's headed towards the sun and it's on water, right? So there's this message coming through of you headed towards happier days. Um, again, filled with, you know, love and opportunity and fresh starts. I feel like you're in a really beautiful place um, within, within your mental right? I, I, I'm really feeling like this elevated sense of love and this elevated sense of compassion 
and this elevated sense of love for yourself and, and also this elevated sense of faith, right? With, with ascending, like, it's like you have faith in the process. You have faith in the process, Scorpio, whereas before maybe you didn't, maybe you were scared of the process, right? Maybe you were scared of the process. I, I don't feel like you're scared of the process anymore. Yeah, look at this. I want to show you guys right as I'm talking about it. Here's fear, but it's reversed, okay? So there's this message coming through of you no longer living in fear. You no longer living in fight or flight mode. You no longer living in scarcity. There's a message coming through of you recognizing the fact that you are chosen. You are blessed and favored by the universe. And because you've really implemented this within yourself, your soul, your DNA, your mind, it's like there, you no longer fear, you no longer worry because you know that everything that comes into your life is for a reason and you know that it works out in your favor. It's for your favor. It's for your good. It's for your benefit and you will always rise above, you know, like cream in milk, you know, when you milk cows, right? The cream always um, floats to the top and that's what spirit is showing me, this huge bucket of milk. And you're the cream that's kind of floating to the top here. All right. I, I feel like you're just in a completely different space, mind, heart, body, and soul. Okay. Just a completely different space here, Scorpio. Um, a space where you have, you know, hired your self-worth, hired your self-love, a space where you have hired your vibrations. Like you're in that space. Like spirit is clapping and saying, congratulations, Scorpio. Like you've made it. Like, Spirit is also saying many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, so I do feel like many, 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 many people on earth were called to raise their vibrations, raise their consciousness, but only a few were able to successfully do it. So if you are watching this video, there's this message coming through of either one, you have already successfully done it, or two, you are on the verge of doing so. Trust the process, right? But I feel like you have this very deep, inner knowing of your self-worth and 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 you have this very deep inner knowing of like what your boundaries are what you will not will and will not accept you know um it's like you know who you are right especially with this vibrations card here right like with this vibrations card i'm really picking up this sense of like knowing your queenhood or knowing your kinghood or there's something here about like you recognizing your royalty, okay? You recognizing um, well, I I I already said it. Recognizing your godhood or your goddesshood, or you know, recognizing your royal blood, so to speak, right? Recognizing who it is that you are, and that this that spirit speaks through you, and that you are divinely uh, protected divinely chosen, um, divinely provided for, divinely loved, okay? Like the universe is saying to you, like, I work for you. I cherish you. I love you, right? The universe is saying here to you, like, I'm devoted to you. That's what the universe is saying. The universe is saying, I'm devoted to you, right? The universe is saying, there's no need for, for fear, my love. There's no need for fear. Fear is an illusion, all right? Everything that happens in your life that seems bad or you see it as bad is actually working out in your favor to take you to where you need to be, all right? Um... We've got new direction and separation, and I do just want to say that the cards that I pulled here, the last two cards are recognition and union, so you do have a fresh start with somebody new here in the love department, and we're going to get into that in just a minute. Um, fresh start, union, recognition, all right? There's some sort of soulmate coming in here or some sort of twin flame, all right, with the separation card, all right? 
Um, we've got deception and um, stuck. All right, we're going to look into that. We've got um, balancing the cards and, uh, or no, sorry, balancing the scales, okay, and awakening. And then I don't know if I showed you guys these cards, but we've got um, awakening. No, ascending. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm speaking faster than I'm thinking. Um, we've got ascending and fresh start. Okay. So ascending came out twice. But give me a second to kind of get the vibration of, uh, of what's going on here. Um, new direction and separation. Um, you know, I do feel like you, whatever Scorpio I'm talking to, okay, there's this message coming through of you do have a twin flame, but I don't feel like this Scorpio that I'm speaking to knows who that is yet or has met that person or you have briefly, vaguely, quickly met that person in the past and then for whatever reason you guys were separated very quickly, right, which, which, which caused... A very very deep purging and awakening right um, I'm getting Taurus spirit is saying Taurus so this person uh, could be a Taurus okay I feel like the majority of you like 90% of you have not met this person yet this is somebody you have not met this is somebody you don't know right you are in separation from them but I do see the two of you coming together soon now again like 10% of you vaguely somewhat know this person on maybe a like um friendship level or you know maybe you tried it out like date tried out dating for you know a short minute or two you know what i mean I, I what i'm saying is i don't feel like like you really really know this person or that like you guys were together for like months or years right that's that's not what i'm picking up here um again it's going to be different for everybody all right this is a general reading but um th there is a new direction that spirit is taking you into that is going to end the separation with your person right I, I and i'm really picking up heavy on the earth sign okay more specifically taurus and virgo all right um, but I want to show you, you know, we have the sun in these two cards and we have the moon in these two cards. So there's definitely a message coming through of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. For those of you who don't know, the moon is uh, divine feminine energy and the sun is divine masculine energy. And also, I just want to point out that um, um, this is a very, very deep, like, love story okay this is like the two of you i feel have been reincarnated over and over and over and over and over again in many 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 lifetimes for you guys to find each other over and over and over again it's almost like a game for your soul right like the two of you reincarnate you know you're separated you find each other in that lifetime it's almost like a game of like hide and seek kind of on soul level but i do feel like in this lifetime there's more than just this hide and seek, this kind of playtime or this game um, scenario, all right? The two of you are here, I feel, on a mission, right? So there's some sort of mission that you guys are fulfilling here together. So it's more in this specific lifetime here on Earth in the 3D, it's more than just this game of like hide and seek, right? It is... The two of you finding each other to fulfill some sort of mission or to do something that you were meant to do, some sort of contract, some sort of soul contract, right? Um, like, and that's going to be different for everybody. Maybe the two of you go on some sort of mission to, I don't know, like some third world country and, and I don't know whatever you would do there be preachers or something maybe the two of you um open up like a yoga studio and just whatever community you're in you're just such a bright light and and a huge help and assistance and a, 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 um you create like this loving community right but there's something here that you guys are doing or it could even be some of you like youtube like maybe the two of you kind of 
start YouTube or social media and you do it together. And through your social media, you're, you're just putting out a lot of love, a lot of light and building community, you know, building um, a community of like-minded people, spiritual people, right? I just, or it could even be some sort of help towards environmental. Um, it could be some sort of like justice reform, or maybe the two of you have some sort of like goals that you're trying to reach, like, you know, just like, again, like justice reform, like, um, you know, maybe there, there's something here. Maybe you choose to like help single parents, Maybe you um, foster children. Okay, I don't know what it is that you're doing, but you are doing something that's being of great help and assistance here on earth. Um, and, and, and it's something you agreed to before you came here. Okay, um, so I do feel like the separation is ending, you guys. The separation is ending, and I feel like you're coming into contact with your twin flame. And I do feel like they're the ones reaching out to you, okay? Um, I feel like you're in, you're, you're both in this place of, uh, being awakened to a higher vibration, a higher calling, and you both recognize each other as like the one, um, there's definitely a lot of passion here, a lot of love here, a lot of love making, right? A lot of very passionate love making, a lot of kissing, a lot of touching, a lot of, um, I mean, this is beautiful. Like the way this masculine makes love to you is like, it, it, it's intense, it's passionate, and, and, and the spark that you have between your heart chakras, I mean, I, I like, literally, I, it's really hard to put words to what it is t that I'm feeling right now, because it is so intense, and it is so um, raw, and it is so passionate, and, and, and there's so much divine love here between the two of you. Okay, so much divine love here between the two of you. Um, I do see the two of you really getting to know each other. And then I do see um, the relationship going kind of fast. Okay, I do see, you know, you guys, and you could, I do just want to say you could live at a distance from each other because I'm seeing somebody that travels to you um, every weekend and is spending like three or four days with you, right? So, you know, maybe they come down on a Thursday and stay until Sunday. Maybe they come down on a Friday and stay until Sunday. Um, I, I see them, you know, I see you guys like not necessarily living together per se, but it's like because of the distance, you guys have to come together, um, uh, like they're staying at your house or whatever, right? Hold on a minute, you guys. Okay, now when it comes to this deception and stuck energy, I don't feel like it's a bad thing, okay? I do feel like, you know, if the two of you do know each other, all right, this person, you know, has been watching you from afar very secretly. And look at this. We've got deception here and we've got the seven of swords here, which is also deception and strategy. So we've got, I literally opened the deck. There's no, there is no coincidences in life. Okay. There's no coincidence that I open the deck and there's the seven of swords, which is deception and strategy. And we've got, um, the seven of swords here, which is deception, right? Um, and then we've got, you know, the Ace of Cups. So I do feel like there are strong feelings here on this masculine's end. There are very strong feelings that he has for you. Um, I, I do feel like he's he, he is in love with you and, and could be quite, like, obsessed because we've got the devil here now, too. Okay, so I do feel like this person is quite obsessed, quite infatuated, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Um, I do feel like when this masculine introduces himself, like it's going to be a mutual thing. There's going to be this very deep, intense passion, love, obsession, infatuation that you have with each other. And what I'm being told here by spirit is that, you know, a lot of people would maybe say, oh, infatuation, obsession, that's, you know, bad. It's not good. Well, first of all, um, Scorpios are known for kind of 
getting obsessed and infatuated with things. That's that's what we do. I'm a Scorpio as well. Um, but also, I just want to say, like, it's not a bad thing um, in this particular love story, okay? Because I do feel like that intense love, that intense passion, that intense, like, ob like obsession or, or infatuation, like, that was put into the both of you, right? It was put into the both of you um, in order to keep your bond very tight and to keep you both very loyal to one another, right? So I do feel like whatever obsession or infatuation I'm picking up here is divine. It's divine. It comes from the divine. You were born with it. Um, and, and he was born with it. Okay. But if he knows you, he's been watching you. All right. And I feel like this is pertaining to him. This deception and stuck pertains to the masculine in this story. Okay. Um, I feel like the deception is not so much a bad thing. Um, it's just more so like they're not deceptive in a bad way. I feel like they've been deceptive in in the fact of like secretive kind of lurking in the shadows, you not knowing they're around, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like they felt like th this person has felt very stuck when it comes to their connection with you, because I do feel like this person has, you know, wanted to come in or wants to come in. And I don't know, there's something stuck in their head or their mind or some sort of way that they feel about themselves. And um, I, I, I do feel like there's an ending coming to that and, and a balance coming because this person is now coming in, right? Um, what is it that you have for Scorpio? Oh, look at this. Will of Fortune, the Magician, and then we've got the High Priestess on the back. Look at this, Scorpio. Will of Fortune, Magician, High Priestess. I do feel like the two of you, like the Magician is masculine energy, High Priestess is feminine energy, but it, they're very similar, right? High Priestess, Magician. They're, they're both, you know, um, creators is what I'm trying to say, manifestors, right? And so I feel like this is talking about this masculine manifesting you and, and Scorpio, whoever, the, or whoever the feminine is here, right? Is in a place where she is finally manifesting him, right? I feel like whatever it was that the feminine was going through, um, she was not on a vibration where she was able to manifest this masculine for whatever reason, could have been trauma or whatever. And then this masculine also had his own stuff that was going on, um, where he felt stuck within the connection or unable to move forward for whatever reason. So you both kind of had your issues and what spirit is saying is that there was a reason for that. You know, it, it wasn't time for the two of you to come together. So I do feel like for many of you feminines, this masculine knows you, you don't know him. And he could be very well watching you. Like there's an introduction being made. He's coming in and making an introduction, right? Um, but you both are very powerful beings. You know, high priestess, the magician. High priestess would be the feminine aspect. Magician would be the masculine aspect. But this talks about two very old souls. You know, it's very possible that in the past you were high priestesses or high priests of, you know, the gods and goddesses or Egypt or Greece or something along those lines. Like what this is saying to me is that the two of you are very, very powerful manifestors, both of you, very, very powerful manifestors, especially this masculine, whoever it is I'm picking up, right? Could be an earth sign. Again, I'm, I just keep picking up Taurus and Virgo, but you know, he could be a very, like, I feel like he's a very, very powerful manifester. And, and, and the two of you are, it's like will of fortune. The two of you are finally on these, you know, high vibrational, um, ascension, you know, um, awakening level, like you're, you're at the level where you're both kind of manifesting each other, right? And you're now coming together. Okay. There's a coming together. There's a reunion. Okay. There's a recognition. All right. Um, 
I, I do see you guys coming together and it's like you guys don't waste any time. You're, you're immediately kind of getting to work here on whatever it is that you are trying to fulfill in this life. Okay, whether that's having kids, adopting kids, um, donating to charities, justice reform, you know, spreading um, knowledge. There's the devil again, um, three of swords reversed. So there's some sort of end to heartache and some sort of end to pain, um, an end to a separation. And like I said, whoever this masculine is, like I, I'm telling you, like he is mother effing like obsessed, dude, like obsessed. But again, I feel like, you know, that is going to be a mutual thing, you know, when he comes in here. I don't feel like you know him, Scorpio. So, I, well, m maybe some of you do. But what I'm saying is he knows you a lot better than you know him because he's been watching you online, right? He's He's been kind of in the shadows watching you. And he knows a lot more about you than you do him. So I do feel like this masculine is like intensely in love, um, intensely, like I said, like the devil twice, obsessed, infatuated, um, in love. But, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like that's a good thing. It's a divine thing. You know, it's something that spirit allowed you both to be born with in order to be, um, have a deep connection with one another. Um, also, I'm picking up psychic abilities and, and the fact that you two dream about one another um, and, and, and psychic abilities. I do feel like there's a message coming through that when you guys are sleeping, you dream about each other, but you may not remember it when you wake up or because you haven't met him in this life yet, you may not recognize or realize that it's your twin flame, right? You're in your mind, you're just having like, um, a dream about a man or whatever. When in reality, that man is just not any man. That man is your divine masculine, right? So, um, again, devil the second time, there's a very, very, very deep, uh, connection here. Very psychic connection. Um, I do feel like this is a connection. It's like you guys can read each other's minds and you guys kind of know, like you may finish each other's sentences. That's kind of the um, energy I'm picking up. Okay, you guys. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get back into this reading. I um, took a quick break to take the kids to school and go get breakfast. I was starving. So let me go ahead and get back into this reading here. Okay. So this is good. This is really beautiful. Okay. This is a very beautiful love story. Magician on the bottom of the deck again. What is it that you have for Scorpio? <clears throat> Excuse me. What is it that you have for Scorpio? Um, messages rooted in love and light, please. Messages rooted in love and light. Just seeing the devil again. Just seeing the devil again. Page of Swords. Yeah, did I not say this person was watching you? Did I not say that, Scorpio? I told you this person was watching you. I have literally no idea who that is. All right. <clears throat> so page of swords, you know, this person is watching you, keeping track of you, um, watching your evolution, watching you online, watching you heal, watching you elevate. Oh, 
Oh my God, the devil. Wow, he actually came out. I mean, I'll be honest, like those of you who have been watching me for a really long time, you guys know that I used to see the devil as a good card. I no longer really see him as, um, you know, a good card. But what I will say is that, you know, I'm, I'm not picking up bad vibes from the devil. You know, usually the devil means like trauma, drug addiction, narcissism. Um, it, it can also talk about a trauma bond. Um, it can talk about, you know, a, a deep feelings for somebody, but it comes from trauma or it comes from pain, right? The devil is not necessarily somebody you want to date. Um, the devil is not somebody you really want to get involved with. You know, the devil is a heartbreaker and he doesn't care about how his actions affect you, right? But that's, <clears throat> that's not what I'm picking up in this, um, in this reading. When it comes to the devil, what I'm feeling intuitively is, um, like just a very deep connection, um, obsession, infatuation, a very deep love, a very deep bond. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not picking up the, the negative aspect of the devil in, in this, in this particular reading. Okay. But they are watching you, paying attention to you, watching your every move. Okay. Page of Cups, they're about to send a message here. <clears throat> Page of Cups is a messenger, um, messenger of love, messenger of, um, you know, expressing one's feelings, um, love confession, lo um, love confession, um, confession of love, something here about like, you know, Scorpio, I've been watching you for a long time. I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you for the longest time. You know, I'm head over heels in love with you. I'm obsessed with you. There's nobody I want but you. Like, whatever this page of cups is, whatever confession it is that this person is giving to you, it's very deep and very meaningful, right? Just seeing the king of cups. So this person is very romantic, but they also have very strong romantic feelings towards you. But they're coming towards you here, Scorpio. They're coming towards you, okay? They're coming in. They're coming towards you. They're they're coming in with some sort of message, all right? Some sort of confession, very deep romantic connection, confession of love, the tower, when you least expect it. They could even be catching you off guard, like outside when you're walk, walking to your car or going to throw something away. They're catching you off guard. The lovers, yeah very deep soul bond connection here. You know, the lovers is, um, if you read on the bottom of that it says twin flame connection. These are my twin flame cards. Um, this is my twin flame journey tarot cards. All right. So the lovers is twin flame connection in this specific deck. Okay. But there's some sort of divine intervention with the tower that's bringing the two of you together some sort of, um, tower moment, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I feel like it's a really good thing. Whatever this tower moment is, it catches you off guard, but I feel like you're happy about it, Scorpio. Can I have one more card for Scorpio, please? Can I have one more card for Scorpio? Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. We've got the Divine Masculine now, which is the Emperor. All right, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, they're being very secretive. 
very strategic coming in here. Um, Seven of Swords, the Fool, Two of Cups, uh, Queen of Swords being very strategic. Um, they are being deceptive, but again, in a, a good way, very quiet. They're coming in here wanting a new start with you. Um, but this person, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they've really elevated because they're coming out as the emperor here. Okay, this person has really, really elevated. Um, I feel like, you know, for the 10% of you who do know this person, you know, you're not being introduced to the same person here. It's like they're coming in here and they're, they're kind of reintroducing themselves, you know. I, I do feel like whoever this person is, it's like they've grown a lot. They've learned a lot. And it's like, you know, they're ready. They're ready for you. They're ready for a deep connection. They're ready. They're just ready. Okay. And, and also when we're talking about the emperor, we're talking about somebody who knows what it is that they want and they go after it. Right. Somebody who is, you know, like grown man energy. Okay. This could also be a person who is a father, like they could have children, um, one, two, or even three kids. All of them are going to be different. I'm seeing some with one child, some with two, and some with three. All right. That's all the messages that I'm getting for you today, Scorpio. Thank you so much for coming by your reading. Also, I just wanted to say, look at how I put the cards back on the bottom of the deck is the emperor and fresh start. So, you know, fresh start for me is the fool. Um, in this deck, fresh start for me is the fool in the tarot. And so you have a new beginning coming with some sort of divine masculine, uh, some sort of divine masculine energy. All right. So I love you guys. I wish you all nothing but the best. Namaste.